Understanding economic abuse. Economic abuse can be difficult to identify. It can develop slowly and begin with behaviour that seems protective or caring at first, like offering to take care of all the household finances. When people think of domestic abuse, they often picture physical, emotional or sexual violence. Economic abuse does not leave bruises, but it can still have a debilitating effect on a person's safety and well-being, both now and in the future. Economic abuse is when a perpetrator restricts, exploits or sabotages their partner's access to money and other resources, such as food, clothing, transportation and a place to live. This form of abuse is designed to limit someone's freedom. He controlled what I wore, what I ate and drank, who I saw, my social media, my telephone, our bank accounts, my credit card. He controlled how much sleep I had. He made it near impossible for me to sustain a full-time job, yet he refused to work. Economic abuse is commonly experienced within a pattern of behaviour known as coercive control. You may have heard the term financial abuse before. People commonly use the terms economic abuse and financial abuse interchangeably since they involve similar behaviours. Financial abuse includes things like stealing money and coercing someone into debt. Economic abuse is broader. It's about more than just controlling a person's money and finances. It also considers their other resources such as housing, food and employment. He had access to all my bank statements and accounts. I didn't know anything about his finances. Take a look at these items. How important are they? How would you feel if you were not able to access them today? What would you no longer be able to do? You may be starting to understand how economic abuse affects the victim's freedom and well-being. When I took a call from someone my boyfriend didn't approve of, he threw my mobile phone on the floor and smashed it. I had to buy three new phones last year. There are many different ways an abuser might control your economic resources. Some examples include controlling the use of property such as a mobile phone or car, preventing you from being in education or limiting your working hours, dictating what you can buy, making you ask for money or providing an allowance. Economic abuse limits victims' choices and ability to access safety. It also rarely happens in isolation. It usually occurs alongside other forms of domestic abuse. A lack of access to economic resources can result in a woman staying with an abuser for longer and experiencing more harm as a result. If any of this sounds familiar, know that you are not alone. We have resources and more information on our website, Surviving Economic Abuse dot org.